subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about training, validation and testing data. So before going into the class, first we must have an understanding about what's machine learning and where it is useful. Let's take an example and understand where machine learning is useful. The example which we consider here is a cancer prediction data set. This data set consists of 10,000 patients, means they have collected test samples on 10,000 different patients and they have taken five different tests test one so on uh, test five five different tests based on the values which we, they got from these five tests the doctors have given that uh, whether the patient is having a cancer or not one means patient is having cancer zero means patient is not having cancer this is the data set which we collected so now what's machine learning when it is helpful for us now consider this data set, this 10,000 uh, patients data set, uh, we call it as data. So now coming to our machine learning, uh, take this data and this data is applied on a machine learning model. There are so many different models we will discuss in our next classes. Let us take an example that we applied this data on a model. In our first classes, we already discussed about a first basic machine learning model. What's that model is? Linear regression model. So there we clearly discussed what machine learning is doing. We apply this data on this model and this linear regression model will identify a line that passing through the middle of the data and it is having minimum loss. So what this model is doing, if you apply a data on this model, this model will identify a function. What's function here in, in, in our first model? Equation of the line is our function. It will identify a function such that this function will help in predicting our future values. This is what machine learning do. So take this data sample, this data sample is applied on a model, this model will generate a function. So this function is used to predict our future values. So this 10,000 data records has been applied on this model and this model has generated a function. Let's say that the model has generated a function called F1. Suppose a new patient come into the hospital and he has taken all these five tests. Now how our machine learning models will helpful is without intervention of the doctor if the new data values he has taken all these five tests these five test values are given to this function f1 this f1 function will predict that whether the patient is having cancer or not that's the use of machine learning without help of doctor our machine learning function will predict whether the patient is having a cancer or not let's say 10 different new customers has come into the hospital and they have taken all these five tests and this 10 different test values 10 patients different test values are fed into the function this function will predict that whether the patient is having cancer or not assume that this function has predicted eight patients data accurately accurately means if he is having cancer our function will also predict cancer if he is not having cancer our function has to predict he is not having cancer out of 10 how many it has predicted correctly eight what's the accuracy of this function 80 percent so 80 percent of the times our function will predict accurate values okay here what's training data means the data which we given to the model so b this model is predicting this function uh, generating this function based on this data this data we call it as training data so this data is given to this model based on this data this model will generate a function so this data we call it as training data 
new customers new customers has come into the hospital and this new data which is not used during the training phase this new data we call it as a testing data okay our model should be predict data on testing data means which is not used in a training phase then only you can say that uh, this model is doing good 80% accuracy is not good 95 96% accuracy is the best accuracy okay so coming to now understand what's training data testing data and va validation data coming to our data this is our data set assume that this is our data set so we are doing examples on two different data sets what's that cardio data set and amazon mobile feedback data set assume that this is one of our data set and we have collected in amazon mobile data set we have collected 70000 different feedbacks from different customers this data set should be divided into three parts 60 percent of the data we have to give to training data 20 percent is given to validation data 20 percent is given to testing data this testing data should be unseen data it's not used in a training phase okay and now understand what's validation data means so it, it is not mandatory to separate like this 60 20 20 you can do on your own you can take 15 you can take 30 you can take 50 like that usually everyone will do this division that's why for example i am saying this so 60 percent training data 20 percent validation data and 20 percent testing data so what's validation data means so this 60 percent data is given to a model and this model is using this data this model is generating a function f1 so now this validation data is applied on this function for prediction if this data has given 80 percent accuracy if this function has given 80 percent accuracy on this validation data will you accept that function no I need 95 percent accuracy so what I have to do now now I will change some I will do some modifications in the model and again train the model based on this 60 percent data again do training on this data okay then you will get new function f2 because you did some modifications in the model what's that modifications how to do that modifications on the model we will understand when we discuss about the models in our next classes we are going to different models there we will understand so coming to next again f2 apply this data on f2 then you have got 95 percent accuracy so which function we consider here we will consider f2 function again do some modifications on the model and again train the data on the model you have you got a function called f3 and apply this data on this function you got 97 percent accuracy okay then which function we will consider the third function will be considered this is what validation data means so what's our model has to do good on test data unseen data here this training data and validation data is seen by the model during the training phase after finding the best function you found that this is the best function so now apply your test data on this function if this function is giving same 97 percent accuracy on test data that is unseen data unseen means uh, this data is not seen during the training phase unseen data then you will accept this function as best function best model so this is what training data validation data and testing data means hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates